my secret writing is never created a keyboard. Don't sit down at the computer hoping you're going to create something. For me, it's about knowing the story or the elements that I'm going to be dealing with with such detail that I'm basically testifying in front of my audience. I'm saying this is the way it was, and this was this date, and they were there, and they were doing this, and they were doing that. And, and I know it for a fact. And if you ask me the same question a year from now, I could give you exactly the same answer because it's that... It's, it's that solidified in my own memory. And so when I sit down to write, I'm, I'm talking about something I know in detail, something I've studied, something I've looked at in detail, not something I have to invent as I go along. And since I write fiction, that's rather important, you know. I remember my father saying, he said, I don't lie, I just remember big. You know, you have a tendency with fiction to do that, to, you know, to say, well, I'll just make it bigger, you know. And that can be a real mistake sometimes. People would much prefer to hear a truth that's more in scale to their own experience. You know, somebody goes, I remember that. Yeah, when my grandmother died, I felt that, right? Rather than creating, you know, grandiose situations, which can be a lot of fun for fiction, but really have, it, it takes your audience out of relevance, you know, and the most important thing is to keep your audience within relevance because they're part of the work. You know, they're doing part of the work. When they pick up the book to read it, let the audience do the reading. Let the audience do the, the costuming and the music and the da-da-da-da. The audience today for everything is far more sophisticated than it was even 50 years ago. You don't need to give them eight pages of descriptive narrative in order to bring them up to speed. You know, they've seen everything. I much prefer to be uh, a reporter, and maybe that's because of my background as a journalist. It's, you know, it's sort of like who, when, why, where, what. And you only cover those things in which my reader really needs the information in order to form a picture for themselves. And that makes it something that's really important. That makes the book your own because you've decorated it. You know what this, you know, if, if, if you have a passion for, you know, Dvorak, that's what's going to be playing in the background. People do this. They don't know they're doing it, but they do it. And to this day, a lot of theater is that as, as well. I mean, we don't, it, we, it's like the minimalist school. I mean, you don't need a whole lot outside of light and a suggestion of this and a scrim of that, you know, the scrim of a tower outside the window or the setting sun in order to, you know, bring your audience to a place that they can participate in the scene without, you know, feeling completely left out.